um, I can't live without my iPad. I can't live without my um, my my iPhone. I can't live without any Apple products, actually. Oh gosh, um, worst childhood fashion memory. I think I was in the fifth grade, um, and I had just moved to the states. Um, and everyone was really into Hawaiian shirts at the time, and so um, I had to have one. And I, it, it was fine. It was pretty enough. It was cool enough. But there was this, um, this uh, like this bare naked woman that was on the back of the print of the shirt that I didn't notice when I bought it. And so when I wore it to school, like everyone just like started making fun of me. They, they were like, "Why do why do you have this girl on, on the back of your shirt?" So it was kind of traumatizing for me. <laughs> Um, I would prefer to not see um, leg warmers come back. I know people really like them. I think they're kind of like cool and rockin', but they're kind of not anymore. <laughs> um, I love to go to somewhere that's unexpected for me in New York. Like I love to go up town usually like I'm, I'm never uptown I live downtown I work downtown um, and for me it, 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 to, to go up to like Madison and kind of have that experience on a weekend is kind of great I love to go to the Carlisle Hotel actually um, and have tea there but then there's a bookstore that I go to there that's got the best fashion books and magazines and, and, and photography books so I usually try to raid that when I come uptown um, a closet that I want to read. I think um, probably, I mean, I have two kinds of closets. I think um, somebody classic like Lee Radziwell, who has impeccable chic taste, and I think that she's probably got the best sort of clothes that designers have made for her that no one has ever seen. So I think that I love to see that. I also love to see some uh, closet like Linda Evangelista's closet. Somebody like a cool supermodel that's been around in the in the age of X. And, and probably has a ton of clothes.